What is up guys, it is Blue here and today we will be reviewing uh, Lloyd's Jungle Chopper Bike. Uh, it is for ages 7 and older, it is uh, 71745 and it has 183 pieces and 3 minifigures and retails for $19.99 in the US. So the first thing we will be looking at is the build, so I'm going to put the minifigures aside. Oh god. Alright, but anyway. Uh, if you guys want to know how I'm holding the bike up, I just put something to hold it up so it does not fall, because, like, yeah, it can stand up, but, like, something, like, it can fall really easy, and I just do not like that. And then, yeah. Uh, so, based, the first thing we'll look at, there's this little flyer we get here on Lloyd's uh, little bike here, which we will put up here. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but, um, yeah. There's a little flyer here, there's two stud shooters, and then there's this piece inside which you can put a minifigure on. Uh, I don't have a, I don't, the only minifigure I have is Jade, but, yeah, it's basically like, you would put them on, then it, then it, oh, come on. It's basically like they're sort of flying, like, like that, basically. Sort of like the Zane's little flyer in the Jungle Dragon I reviewed, except smaller. Well, I guess that's it for that part. I'm going to put that aside because I don't need that part right now. Here's what the bike looks like without it. Um, the wheels I like, it's just I don't like that it, it can't bounce too good. And then, yeah. So then it's got stickers all over. It's... I don't know why, but I feel like it's supposed to be resembling, like, um, similar to the their Velocity Racers, Lloyd's bike, because this, I, I don't have it, but I know in the set it sort of had, like, this in another color. Yeah. And then, in here, we've got the little cockpit for the minifigure to sit inside. Well, it can't really sit inside, but... So basically, the minifigure actually stands, they don't actually sit, so you put them in, and then it's basically like that. It looks like they're sitting, but they're not. This is a, this set has a lie, they do not sit down, even though it looks like it. But, yeah, here's the bottom of this set, here's the side, the front, um, and then the side again. But I guess that's it for that, let's move on to the minifigures. Alright guys, so the first minifigure we are looking at is the Rumble Keeper. He's basically the sort of like the villain in this set. We get sort of like this tribal design, which is like a shield. It is a print, not a sticker. But then this is pretty cool. I like this shield here. Um, it comes with this white spear thing. Duh. Come on. So just the white, just a normal white spear. Then, for the Rumble Keeper, um, it's basically the same printing for all of them except, uh, Chief Mamantis. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's like it's like they're the same, but then the design is like more fancier, basically. And then yeah, I guess that's it for the minifigure. Oh wait, so it's got sort of this straw hat. This is what it looks like without anything on. Uh, I didn't mean that in a wrong way, I'm just saying, uh, like, without the hat. And then here's the back of the keeper, not too much, but still pretty cool. Well, guys, I think that's it for the minifigure here. Let's move on to the next minifigure. Something. Uh, Alright, guys, so now the net, the last two minifigures we will be looking at is Island Nia and Island Lloyd. So, Island Lloyd, um, it's basically the same thing I already reviewed in the Jungle Dragon, if you guys want to check that out, because I reviewed that before this one. So, I'm not going to take too much into detail, but we get this headband we already got. Lloyd's got a new face printing, um, that's the back with everything on. I'm not really going to go over much with him, because I already did it in the Jungle Dragon set, but... Anyways, let's look at Nia. So Nia is a new design. Sadly, she only comes in one set, which is the Jungle Chopper bike, but it is a pretty cheap set, only $20 to get. She's uh, the ninja. They're using sort of these, like, um, what do you call them? Oh, come on. I said, I said it in the last video. Uh... Okay, I don't remember, but uh, these parts, they're in gold now because we, the... we got them in silver, and then, yeah. And then Nia comes with the silver katana in the back, which we've been getting since season 11, in the season 11, 
yeah, just the season 11 sets. And then, basically, it's just, she's sort of got, sort of got like, the cyan armor. Ah, oh, what am I saying? She sort of got, like, the cyan arms, and then it's sort of like a gunmetal color with her cyan color. I like to see that it's not her other color she mainly used. Um, it's sort of like this red color, like that, like this part. I, I, it was okay, but I didn't like that. But yeah, that's it. And then we got her hair piece, cyan half mask. I'm not gonna go over much with the head because we've been getting it forever. Season 11 armor, and then here's what she looks like without any armor or anything else on. That's what her front looks like, and then her back is sort of like, yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention the ninjas. Some of them they have sort of like a metallic thing that likes um reflects the color. I don't, I don't know how I'm saying that, but and then that's her back printing, and then yeah, I guess that's it for that. Let's move on to the box, and then we'll move on to my thoughts. Uh, yeah. All right, guys. So the next thing we'll be look, the last thing we'll be looking at is the box. So here's the top. It's got all this here. So here's the Rumble Keeper. Here's Island Lloyd, and then Island Nia, and then there's the amulet. Oh crap! I forgot the amulet, but that's what it looks like. Here's the front of the box. Not too much, but it's still pretty cool. We've got the minifigures. We've got the piece count and everything. Uh, we've got the side here. Uh, yeah. I'll put this down. And then here's the back. Here it has the Lego symbol. It has the set number. Um, it has some uh, set art. It's and then here's some functions and other things you can do with the set. And then yeah, I guess that's it for this box. And then let's just move on to my thoughts. All right, guys. So now these will be my thoughts. This set, it's an amazing set. I love the bike. I love the minifigures. They're all great. I just don't like the wheels because it makes the bike unbalanced. But yeah, I I like the bike and all like I just love the bike. It's just I hate that it just cannot balance on its own. Well, it can, but something slight can just make it fall over and I just do not like that. The minifigures, they're all great. I that 10 out of 10. The minifigures, they're all good. But for the set, if I if for like for all of it, all points total, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. I, can, I can't give it a 10 out of 10 because of the problem. Well, it's not a big problem, but it's just I, just I just don't really like that. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Click, Don't forget to click the notification bell, like the video, and subscribe. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Oh, no. Uh-oh.